Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Starfield on Xbox Game Pass through PC. And we need to find Percival. But I think... Can we actually, like, go there? No, we cannot. Actually, we can. Cool, we can go there. Awesome. You sure it's safe out there? That's a different structure. A ba oh, and those are mines. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, those are mines, okay. Why is it targeting her whenever she's nowhere? You might wanna fix that, devs. She's nowhere near me. Yeah. I'm not targeting her. You might wanna fix that. You might want to fix that. <clears throat> it should not target the NPC unless they are directly in front of you. We still have radiation in here? Really? Weird. Oh, two tanks? Okay. I'm gonna turn this on so I can see what I'm gonna do in. Okay, so do I need any of this stuff? No, I don't. Okay, cool. My word. I can't imagine how an engineer could make heads or tails of this chaotic collection of drilling machinery. Apparently, back further this way. I don't need any of this stuff because it is not for crafting. Oh, wow! Well, this explains why the miners ceased drilling. Someone must have missed this natural cavern on the geological survey. Shame. Can we go down there? I mean, I'm gonna take all of that ore because, I mean, it's here. Oh, I won't reach. There's more of it. Is 
snake right there. It's targeting her, but she's nowhere near me. Why? They need to fix that. They really, really do. That's like a vault door almost. Yeah, it kind of does look like a vault door. But, you know, it might not be. Oh, there's some more of that stuff. Hey, oh, you know what? Since we're here. We're gonna take it, cause we're here. Oh, hey. Oh, I can't do that one. Dang it! Do I have a point that I can use? No, I don't. Dang it. Oh well, it is what it is. There's plenty more where that came from, I guess. Whatever, it is what it is. See, like right there, I'm not even over and it's pointing to it. But that kind of makes sense. But for the NPCs and all that, no. right there as well. Okay. How much does that stuff weigh? I'm curious. Oh, that stuff weighs a lot. Oh, yeah, no, that stuff weighs a lot. Mm. Oh, man, that stuff weighs a lot. Okay, um. Let's not take any more. <laughs> That stuff weighs a ton. And I only have so much room on my ship, so yeah. That's until I actually get a new one. Hmm. Can I, hold up, I'm curious. Can I increase my ship's storage capacity? Yes, I can. Oh, right there. Yes. Okay, that's nice. <clears throat> I want to get this one right here next. This one, this one is very important right there. Yeah, that one is important. How far am I from that? Okay. Okay. I am close, but no cigar.
Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Tissue sample? You came all the way down here for that? Must be some damn important cells. You want to tell me what I'm about to be staring at? Terramorph attack, huh? Not exactly sure why you'd be bringing that... Wait, Tau Gourmet? Like Tau Seti Tau Gourmet? That's a joke, right? There's no settlement old enough on Tau Seti to have a Terramorph. Either someone's setting up the worst petting zoo in the universe, or... Who exactly told you to bring this to me? Hadrian. She's... She gave you this? If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. <laughs> Red Devil's HQ, huh? Interesting. <sighs> I love how they take off their, um... Suits and all that. Gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, Lou mentioned how you take care of the dead. Oh, can't say is I'm that what I think it is? Ah, oh, it's not. Damn. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right. Just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... This can't be right. This sample... It's... Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in the slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. Hmm. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It was. An entire city wiped off the map. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they looked just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there. Faster than any Termov should. Which means... If we're about to start a new era in human terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not going to end well for humanity. It would be the end of us as a species. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Because until now, the Terramorphs that wiped out Londinian had the good sense to stay put. What happened there? It was a tragedy, but at least it was contained. So to find evidence for a similar attack on a different world, well, we don't have enough information to know precisely what this means. But I doubt it's good. Hmm. So I'd love to know what it is you're planning from here. The circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster if we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Red Devil's HQ key edit. Hmm. He said not to touch anything, but it doesn't mean we can't look around.
Ah, here we go. Spacesuit workbench. What can we do to our spacesuit? Boost pack with low duration. You can take off the boost pack. That's just why. Extra Oh, I can get extra capacity. <gasps> oh. oh, dude, I might do that. I don't have enough, though, do I? No, I don't. I don't have enough polymer. Oh, that's what you need. Oh, you need all of that stuff. No way. Analgesic. I need some analgesic. What can I do with this one? Um, I can make this one ballistic shielding. Sensor array? What does this do? Ooh, that's nice. I don't have any adhesive though. Hold on, I wonder does vacuum tape count as adhesive? Where's some vacuum tape? Does vacuum tape count as... Yeah, that helps our ship. Ooh. Does vacuum tape count as adhesive? I need some vacuum tape. Where's some at? Is there any vacuum tape anywhere in here? Maybe over here? Because vacuum tape is adhesive, so where would it be in here if there was some? Maybe I do have to gather everything. Oh, that would make sense actually. Hold up now. Um. Entertaining the notion of Xeno warfare angers me to the core. Helmet display. I'm not seeing any tape. You would think they would have tape, especially in a science lab. Because you just never know. But I'm not seeing any. Dang it. Wait. Thermos snow. Man, is there no tape? Oh, this blows. Dang it, man. If I still have to gather everything up, that's cool. What if there's all these boxes? Come on, please, devs. 
is there no tape anywhere? Can be used as crafting. see any tape fiber oh fiber I'll take that sure um what counts as adhesive unless it's glue and not tape was in that case I've not seen any Well, crumb. Crumb cakes. Crumb bump. Wait, no. Nope. I don't, I don't see any here. Well, oh, crap. Oh well. Ah, uh, this sucks. Oh well. We'll find some, I guess. I don't see any here. Well, crumb. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's move on. Actually, no, I got an idea. Anything I can No, never mind, not there. It'll be somewhere else. It'll be in here. you'll have it. Be careful down near the mines. You 
looking for deals on take a look I have an idea okay so it's literally called adhesive okay what about with vacuum tape Okay, so yeah, it's literally called adhesive. Alright, you know what? Yeah, I'll buy some of that. Why not? <laughs> Dang, dude, microsecond regulator. Jeez, okay. I have enough iron for now. Hallucinogen? Yeah, I'll be buying some of those too because it is rare. Um, I'll be buying some more of those. Drilling rig? Wow. Beryllium. Aromatic. Argon. Antimicrobial. Amend acids. Rare and organic. Sure, I'll buy that as well. I may not ever use any of this stuff, but for when I do, solvent, exotic, and spices. That's for food. Sedative. I needed those too or something. Polymer. I think we're good. Just a reminder. I... I am going to sell Honestly, this thing sucks too. I'm just gonna sell it because whatever. Do I need this for anything? Hold on. Be safe out there. No, I don't think I do.
Huh. Yeah, I don't know if I need it or not. I'm gonna keep it because I do though. Because whatever, who cares? I told them it was about our Alright. Where are we going now? This one. That's me hitting the eject button. Is, is that really her? Adrian. Percival. My God, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> you know, hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. In order to avoid injury, please report any spills or unsafe conditions on the upper level to the Sidonian Department of Public Works. You should give that recipe a whirl. Percival's research tends to be pretty sound. Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. That's... Well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian. That's... That's exactly what I was afraid <coughs> of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that work up. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. <coughs> I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti with both of us. Hmm. Well, when the colony war came to a close 19 years ago, with the signing of the Armistice. Three factions were involved in the negotiations. The UC, Freestar, and House Varun. They made a lot of decisions about what sort of tactics should and shouldn't be permitted in future conflicts. All information related to the things they decided should be banned was locked away in the archives. Now, it's possible to get things out of there, but only with the agreement of members from all three factions. Fair. And as to what our research is doing in there, well, I'll get to that. The Cabinet's the UC's highest governing body. The President, top military brass, scientific and diplomatic division heads. Any major decision the UC makes goes through them. They're the only real chance we've got of unlocking the archives. So without their blessing, we're flying blind. Of course, you deserve the full story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, 
ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. No. We were both dismissed after the war for what we did. These days, we're just concerned citizens with a very particular area of expertise. Our damage has been done for a long time. Oh, you already knew. I, I'm sorry about that. It didn't seem relevant in the moment, and well, it's, it's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the colony war. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the cabinet to help us access that data, It'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. Because the Terramorph project was doomed from the start. Terramorphs are too mean, too smart, too hungry to be used in combat. Trust us, we tried. The data that's in the archives, huh. it's historical write-ups, anatomical notation, food chain analyses. I doubt they would have even classified it if it didn't have a Xeno Warfare logo on it. You have my word. It's not a threat. I mean, I hope they will, given the evidence we've acquired. But getting the Freestar Collective and House Varun on our side, that won't be easy. Since neither group is exactly on great terms with the UC at the moment, for various reasons. Hmm. Exactly. It's going to mean negotiations and deals and plenty of diplomatic legwork to see this through. But I don't see a better option to solving what's going on here. So it's going to be up to us to get them on board. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. Venus? Let's go ahead and do it, why not? Um, what? Weird game? You're being weird right there. Well, I know what that is. While we're here, it wouldn't hurt if we checked in at the lodge. Yeah, yeah, I know. Captain! Over here! The workup's in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. Okay. My relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only hmm. reason I'm here in the first place. Mm -hmm. I am a clone of a man named Francois Sanon, one time fleet admiral of the UC during the colony war, former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. Woe to the defeated in Old Earth Latin, a title he earned. The program I was a part of, it was. The UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds 
from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. I'm the last. A few of my siblings they passed when we were young. Training accidents and the like. But most of the rest were deployed to the front lines during the colony war. And they never came back. Not a day goes by where I don't think about what the world would look like with them still in it. A non-trivial amount of gene editing. Clone, honestly, isn't even really the right term for our relationship, thanks to the amount of donor material that was required to bring me into this world. He and I are different on more than a few levels. But there's no denying the fact we're inextricably linked. Hmm. He would have happily told you he was one of the greats. Ultimately, though, it didn't matter. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Freestar Collective and UC. Military and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. He had his men open fire on civilian ships during the Battle of Cheyenne. A battle that he ultimately ended up losing anyway. Devastating the UC fleet and bringing the colony war to an ugly end for the UC. Hmm. But he's also the one who ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport during their outbreak, condemning countless lives. Both sides agreed the settled systems would be better without him. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or, if you've got any last-minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. No telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep us waiting out here. That's actually a souvenir from my time on Mars. The Red Devils unit I was a part of, they were founded by recruits who'd worked some of Mars' deepest mines. Folks used to adversity. The dust at those depths, it seeps into everything. The human eye included. Where the name Red Devils came from in the first place. It became an unwritten rite of passage that anyone wanting to enlist with the Devils had to do a stint in the mines before they could join up. Huh. The devils were always talked about in such revered tones during my training, so as soon as I was old enough, I signed up, and the eyes were my parting gift. I mean, we never spent a lot of time together. He was too busy being fleet admiral to deal with kids. I was raised by a pair of guardians instead. Huh. Until his defeat during the colony war, though, he was known as an extremely effective commander. Savvy. Perceptive. That mind opened a lot of doors for him. And for me, too. But Ve Victus, for all his ability, was heartless. Ruthless to a fault. In the end, that's what cost him his life. Then I guess it's just a matter of... All right, let's do this. And I am going to make a quick save in case there are persuasion checks. Okay. 
Okay, who are these people? Okay, so you're a no, oh no, and you are someone. President, chief engineer. And then who are you? Security chief, okay. Wait a minute, I wonder, hold up, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. <laughs> now I'm the now I'm on the cabinet now. <laughs> ah, welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well, precisely how urgent is what I hope we'll determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. You see. Freestar Collective and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hayden's <coughs> report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. That's quite the leap, Captain. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, Terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. <laughs> I also ask, how many deaths the cabinet requires to act? Fifty? Fifty thousand? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this Terramorph seem at all alarming to you? Just taking her word for it as well, then. Hmm. So it would seem. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? I'm uncomfortable opening the archives without gathering more information. However, if that's the path forward you prefer, then so be it. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Well, I am not. I've heard nothing here to convince me that we should do anything but wait. And I will not risk galactic peace on a question of if. Yes, a fair assessment, Chief Diplomat. So then, while the data you two have presented is compelling, I think we can safely say it's insufficient for the level of action you've requested. Perhaps once we... What was that? Attention. Attention. An incident has occurred. Facility lockdown engaged. 
Terramorphs. Incident. Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terramorphs. Terramorphs. More attacks. Just ask him. Good God. There, there must be another explanation. The creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide... <coughs> yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. The nearest anti-Xeno squad, though, is off-world. It's going to take a while to bring them in. Well, then. We'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two. We can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming, and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. It's never easy, you know. I'm right behind you. Let's get down there. Ah, uh, <coughs> fair enough. Well, I'm glad I got myself a big gun now, aren't I? Equip followers with EM to engage non-lethally. This is non-lethal? Fuck that, dude. No. I don't like how I have to shoot him with a single fire gun. Thank you for what you did. We didn't we didn't want to hurt them. The way those people were acting. I've seen this before. They were under the Terramorph's influence, weren't they? I I don't know. They were down at the port, and they just started screaming. We'd tried to restrain them, get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but... But some of the other officers down there... We couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just... started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Fermonic projection. Some Terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control, turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're gonna need to be real careful with our fire and keep that EM weapon at the ready. I'm not suggesting. It's documented behavior. The result of the projection, though, can vary wildly. Some folks just shrug it off. 
Others hallucinate. And some lose control altogether. They'll lash out at anyone around them. But still be aware while they're doing it. Those cases, you'll either need to knock them out with EM fire, or free them by killing the Terramorph. Well, you better keep that EM weapon loaded then. Now let's move. No, if Not they so attack, they're going Please. down, down. Do what you can to help them. If they attack, they're going down. And I mean down, down. Bounties be damned. Bounty be damned. Well, I can turn through this. Don't just stand there. I'm mining it. <laughs> Suck it, biscuit. I got some analgesic. Nice. Creatures locked down on the landing pad, but we're barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before, huh? Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I, I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Put those things down and do it fast. We will hold them as best we can. Three of them. All right. Oh, they better not be hitting my ship, or I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Eh. It'll work. Leroy Jenkins time, why not? Whoo, that didn't do much at all. Is cool. I love that. That's cool. <laughs> I love that effect. Oh, yeah, I talked to him. Okay, yeah, I see now. Yeah, okay, well. That was a cool effect. Oh, flames do hurt. Okay. Yeah, I 
have fun, buddy. <laughs> Dude, this game just keeps getting freaking better and better. Oh, I love this game even more now. If these things reached the populated areas of the city, we would have had an absolute massacre on our hands. Oh, this game just keeps getting better and better with that. Oh, man, I love that. Spices. I'm encumbered. Well, my ship is like right there, so who cares? <laughs> Yeah, it's like right over here. So who cares? <laughs> Hi. You were guard. I attempted an informal greeting. I am. Ship is going to be fat. Oh, uh, my ship is gonna get so fat. Oh, uh, I don't know if I can take off anymore or not after this. Oh, my lord. Uh, what's my ship's weight? Oh, damn. <laughs> Two away. I don't need any more stuff at all. I am set for a while. I need to use my stuff actually. I ha I have none of this. I have none of that either. I have none of that either. Really, dude? Come on now. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Or do I? Hold on now. Medical treatment. Discover how to make... Oh, I do have it. Okay. Oh, and it takes... Oh, so you have to put it in. Oh, I need chemistry one. Oh, okay, so I do have stuff. I don't have any more argon. Okay. How did I finish it? I only had one Argon. That makes no sense. How did I finish it? Earth Cuisine. Oh, that takes bread and all that stuff. Oh, and that gave me adaptive frames. Wait, what? How did it finish it? How did it... Eh? Ornamental, okay.
Is it a perk I have that is... What counts as structural? I can just track it all, whatever, who cares? And then I'll know what I need. So that one is now done. Nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and track all of this stuff so I know what I need. Even if I can't carry it, it's fine. I have a ton of iron. I have some nickel. I have no more nickel. How did it complete it? That's so weird. Whatever. Huh. Resources required to craft items and complete. Honestly, I don't really mind. Sudden development during research are twice as common. I don't think I need this at all because I'm getting sudden research development. You know, I'd rather not get this because there's a ton of materials everywhere. And if, if I want to use up my materials, I kind of don't want that. That didn't use up a whole lot at all, but it used up some. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save, and I'm gonna stop here. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to... Subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more, and I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.